Okay, YouTube, we're gonna see about reloading this Toshiba satellite here. So it's just a standard model here. So I'm gonna start by hitting the F12 key. Just keep tapping it, and you see what came up, all right? So now, we're gonna go down and select HDD recovery, and you just hit enter, yes. It's gonna start this process. So this is usually one way to get inside there. And I'm going to show you another way. And I'm going to just hold it here just to show you that it does work this way. There you go. So we could just start this process here and begin reloading this computer but I'm gonna hit no and let it power down then I'm gonna start hitting F8 just keep hitting it like you saw it was and I'm gonna select repair your computer hit enter This is the other option you choose if you're having problems um, booting using the F12 method, method that I just showed you. So we're just going to go ahead and hit next because it's a US keyboard. And she does have a password on here, but I don't know it. But anyway, you enter the password, you hit OK, and you select recovery. All right, so that's two ways you can get in there by hitting F8 key or the F12 which is the way I'm going now and then we're gonna go down to select hard drive recovery and we're just gonna hit yes again and we're just gonna reload this computer to factory default states um, remember this the method that I'm showing you will erase every single thing on your computer from your cookies to your um, viruses and malware and spam that you've got all loaded up on there like this one does has here and um, your pictures your movies everything anything everything you have on your computer will it be erased it will be just like how you got it out of the box that's why they're warning us right now so I'm gonna just go ahead and hit X and you see the first one the first one is already selected for now you could do this saving your data but I wouldn't recommend that because all you might end up doing is just reloading it to a um, screwed up partition or screwed up load so we're gonna go here again I'm just gonna leave it just like it was and we're just gonna hit next to continue and this process is going to begin. Now, if you couldn't get in there pressing using the F8 method, and you couldn't get into here using the F12 method, like I just showed you, then more than likely you will need a Windows recovery CD, which is um like a Windows Home Premium or something like that, or Windows Pro, whichever one. Most of the computers are running Windows Home Premium. Get it on eBay, get it on Craigslist, borrow it from a friend. They are mini and you can find it. It's, it's what I'm getting. You can find this pretty quite easily. So get that disc there if you can't get to this state. Okay, so if your computer was recently worked on at a shop by another tech or um, next door neighbor or somebody who supposedly knew how to work on computers, then more than likely they didn't, they probably used this and they didn't save your partition. Like I just saved the partition. This particular computer has a bad hard drive and I just 
recovered it. That's the bad hard drive there. So I copied it. I re-imaged that, that drive to this drive. And if they didn't do that, then chances are you're going to need to get this disc. You're going to have to start all over from scratch, or you could get a Toshiba home premium disc off eBay. Or if you order from Toshiba, it's get pretty expensive, and I don't recommend that. What I really recommend is a complete reload like this. Not even this process. Because um, Toshiba and a lot of these manufacturers, what they end up doing is they put their own version of bloatware on there and why this is a simple and easy process because it does install all the latest drivers and everything you don't have to worry about getting the drivers this is a clean install you can't get any better than this in my opinion this is what I prefer to do and if it was my laptop I would do this but considering this is, isn't my laptop this is a friend um, I want them to leave them with an option just in case I'm not around and because I'm not really working on computers anymore I want them to have the option to go ahead and reload it so I don't leave them just relying on me or taking it to another tech this is something that they could easily do themselves by watching my videos which I always tell them to do so um that's what I recommend so again F8 to get in repair my computer is one option F12 to get in and choose the recovery to out of box state that's what I recommend that's what I think you should do and like I said if you don't if you can't get in there voila get yourself one of these okay don't worry about the product key it's at the bottom of the laptop so usually like right now it's probably inside this battery compartment for this one here so you don't have to worry about entering in it. So this is just a basic laptop. It's a um, Toshiba satellite. It has like um, I think a Celeron processor. Nothing fancy at all. So um, I think that's about all I wanted to tell you, and that's all about what I wanted to say. So um, the process does take 45 to an hour. It will basically do everything by itself. All you need to do is, let's say, select the country, the time, the date, and U.S. keyboard, and type in the computer name and uh, user logon name, and it's it. That's it. It's gonna keep. It might reload a few times um, while installing things, but generally that's about it and like I said take up to 45 minutes an hour some cases heck you got this done in less than 30 minutes it just depends on the computer and um, the processor and the speed and everything else and how long the software takes probably you two use a big on you if this helped you out if you were able to get into your recovery process and saved you at, or um, just gave you a little bit of knowledge please like please subscribe right over here in the video and um thank you guys if you guys got any questions please post them on the board there have been a lot of people helping lately with my videos so got a great community and a great um amount of followers so please like please subscribe that's the reason why i keep making them probably youtube views are big on you thanks for watching I can stop this dumb thing. Shit still has stopped.